At the height of the Second World War, Admiral Dönitz, the submarine warfare expert, made a very secret mission to move the so-called last battalion. This is a list of nearly 100 U-boats, which remain unaccounted for. From the serial numbers in the left-hand column, we can see that this is not a random list, but a complete series of U-boats which have disappeared. There is evidence of a number of secret bases in the Antarctic. This is the statue of Marduk, more of him later. Admiral Karl Dönitz and a president of the Third Reich signed the surrender documents which ended World War II in May 1945. But they never surrendered the Third Reich itself. So officially Germany never surrendered. And this raises the possibility that there may still be German forces in the Antarctic. At the beginning of the war in 1939, Hitler said that if Germany was overrun, the fight would continue from outside. Perhaps we need not place any special significance to this remark. During 1952 in Washington there was panic. You can see from these photographs of a radar screen UFOs flying in formation. They went straight over the White House. A number of radar surveillance centers had the same alarming images on their screens. This was July 1952. Some years prior to that, in 1946 and 1947, Admiral Byrd undertook a US Navy invasion of Antarctica disguised as a scientific expedition. It had the code name High Jump. After preparations in the previous year, Operation High Jump started on the 30th of February 1947. And yet on the 4th of March, after the disappearance of several aircraft, the expedition was cancelled. Although the details have never been published, Admiral Byrd said that objects were able to fly from one pole to the other, and it was necessary to defend ourselves against flying machines from the Antarctic. This is a sketch from the German magazine Spiegel indicating the flying patterns of UFOs. A New Zealand airline pilot, Bruce Cathy, observed similar patterns over New Zealand. In 1958, the Americans sent a major expedition to the Antarctic, during which on the 27th of August, the 30th of August and the 9th of September, there is evidence that nuclear missiles were fired at Neusfadenland, the German territory. This could be linked to the holes in the ozone layer in the Antarctic today.
There are parts of a report of a kamikaze operation being a joint German-Japanese expedition in the Hanibu 3 to the planet Mars. A Hanibu 3 with a diameter of 71 meters is claimed to have enough power to travel the 75 million kilometers the distance from Earth to Mars. There is a 1945 report that the SS Department D4 decided to make this journey. This would have been a one-way trip unless they received help along the way or at the other end of the journey. On Earth from various vantage points orbiting around the planet and with almost every astronaut coming back with stories of seeing flying saucers in space or being greeted by a hundred spacecraft on what is supposed to be the first landing on moon that no believable explanation has been offered regarding the vast number of sightings by people of all ages and professions. There are a million in the USA alone, where military personnel are trained to debunk sightings, and NASA curiously publishes photographs showing UFOs, such as this one. Whilst it makes little sense for armament manufacturers to create hundreds of thousands of nuclear bombs, enough to extinguish all life on this planet many, many times, there is likely to be more to this puzzle. And it may be one of the many vitally important realities which are kept secret by the powerful few.